Welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs, guys. Uh, my name is Privet677, and you're watching my video. Thank you. Okay, so, in the last few episodes, um, I broke physics. Well, I think I did uh, just about break physics. Let's just sit here all day and try to break physics. Oh, fantastic. Alright, so, um, I did figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, apparently, I'm just a big dummy, and uh, that's a thing. It's, it's like... Basically, I went back and, like, watched a ton of people's videos. I didn't, like, watch any part anywhere past what I had done. But I was watching a certain YouTuber, um, <clears throat> Markiplier. Um, but, um, and in an episode in that, in less than an episode and a half, I think, he got and did this, which is something I hadn't seen yet. So, apparently, uh, I'm just really slow at playing this game. Because I'm, <laughs> this is my fourth episode. Yay! Well, so I have to check the time. I guessed in the last several episodes, but I did pretty good guessing as well. It's 9.30, okay, we'll keep that in note. Um, now it's gonna flip the switch. And it does that! There's a towel. Thank you. Okay. Um, I also have the... Vo oh, what was that? <laughs> I also have the volume raised slightly, so that I can hear things, and it would be nice. Uh, that said, there it does look to be slight amounts of blood everywhere. So that's just fantastic. Um, and there's some saws. Ooh. And a valve. So we know we know this kind of inner back workings area. It's uh it's an inner back workings area. Ooh. I'm gonna lower my mic there so I can talk a little bit louder. Oh, can you hear me, good sirs? Ah, oh, yeah, it's very good. Okay. Now I'm gonna try an experiment here. And I'm going to see what happens if I get a chair for that, because I think that's like an insert slot for like pigs or something, but um, I'm just going to see what happens if I get a chair. Maybe there will be an Easter egg. You never know. It could be pretty fancy. Um. No. No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go get another chair. I will not give up. I will not give up until I know for a fact that it, there is nothing to be had of happenings. Does that make sense? I'm just going to rip this painting off. Can I rip... Because... Okay, I guess not. Um, um, um... Hello? Was this door just slightly open before? Hello? What the fuck's going on? What's that? What the fuck? What was that? What was that? What was that? Was that like a... Was that a pig man? Was that a zombie pig man? Oh my god, it's Minecraft inspired. I, I just I don't know. Raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them good night with lips that have issued such instruction? Oh. Someone feels guilty about the things he has done. I'm pretty sure that's what that said. I've, I've noted to myself that I should pay more attention to what people are saying so I get more immersed in the game experience. Because it is already hard to, you know, get immersed talking over the game. So, that's one thing I need to try to do. I also learned that these things open. Uh, I actually literally watched probably about ten people. <laughs> like, ten different people play, like, the first part that I had played. This first three episodes that I did. I just watched ten different people do those. And I will probably not watch ten different people do the entire game, but I did watch ten different people just do that first part. Like, just so many different people. I just watched them do it just to see. And I learned that I actually missed one room. Um, which actually, considering some of the people I saw missed, like, friggin', like, ten things throughout that, um... I'm not too disappointed at, but I did get to see them though. It was like an old tiny playroom in the attic that had a teddy bear in it, so uh, I do know about that room, guys. So I, there's things that I know about them. So yeah, I'm gonna read this note. Oh, she come a snuffling by nights round ye door, 
with her pretty apron right down to the hoof, and find her ringlets are fair and her fine eyes china blue, like a half-buried hand in the wintry snow. You. Snow. Oh, right in the wintry snow. Oh, poetry. Yeah. <laughs> I. Achievements gain. Poetry. Like a hand in the wintry snow. Yeah, that's supposed to like rhyme or something like that. Um. And she'll beg you for apples through the window ajar. Her face will be all hidden, but her eyes shine a flame. And through you'll be tempted, her bosom so fair. She'll snatch you and catch you and eat out your heart. Oh. And she'll catch you and eat out your heart. So look to your manners come of the eve of the year, lest Sally comes calling for apples, my dear. And know that some doors ne'er should open wide. Take heed of your father and keep safe inside. Disobedient children make seller Sally her pies ooh, and warm Sally's beastly insides. What is with the O's everywhere and the oos and the O's and the us and the is? I don't know. These poems are weird, but they're cool because they're rhymed a little bit, which is cool. Yeah. What are these people in caged beds? Was this like an 1800s thing? Oh god, I just got a massive lowerance of frame rates. These frames are not coming through well. I'm going to test the. Okay, the uh, frames are better now, yay! That took about like, one second, just to like, pause the recording and continue. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh, man, this would be a good exercise. Oh, do some arm thrusts. Oh. <laughs> Stop slapping yourself. Stop slapping yourself. Stop slapping yourself. Ah, 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 ah. Stop slapping yourself. Um. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> All right. So I should probably just never do that again. Um. Bye. Bye, bed. I'm gonna turn that light on. <gasps> I turned the light on. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna turn off these lights on. I'm a responsible homeowner. I don't like to waste electricity, even though I still have all of these lights on. You may as well do a little bit. You have to be conscious about your environment. Uh, 1800s weren't incredibly environmentally friendly people. It's still not incredibly environmentally friendly, so don't do it, children. Um, I'm a very conscious person. I close my doors behind me. I s literally every single one of those 10 YouTubers I saw didn't close any of the doors after them, like to the outside. I got so like, oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? I, it just made me so sad. It's just like, these people don't have etiquette. If you're going to God's side, and you're going to come inside, you must close the doors behind you. It is just common etiquette, man. Yeah, but uh, it frustrated me. I'm just so courteous. My environment is absolutely splendid. I grew up in a wonderful household. Yes. What's this? Whoa. Oh, it's another door to outside. That's cool. Whoa! I am off to market. I will cry all the way home. I will have none. I will have none at all. Okay, well that was interesting. Um... Cool. <laughs> I just... I just realized I found myself to... Just found my way to the new place, so I'm just so excited. Because it's new and exciting. I should turn my light lamp. Because those are cool functions to use. Whoa, it's a machine. <gasps> oh, is that that one place I was at because it was cool and stuff? Oh. Right. Oh, that's cool. Um. <laughs> it's coming. Come on, Daddy. It's this way. He's coming? Wait, what? Oh, hi. What's over here? I'm just gonna go over here real quick. Um. Oh! 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 These were two right beside each other. I didn't even realize that. Like, I did not even realize that even remotely. Wow, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Wow, I didn't even know the place entwined that way. Oh, this wall's like fancy and stuff. Sudden leg spike. Oh, great. 
Oh man, this game is so cool. <laughs> what? What was that? Uh, is there anything in here? No. Okay, it's great. It's not, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing. You got nothing, sir. Yes. It reminds me of that one commercial, actually. It's like that one, uh, another one of these things. Stop stalking me, you hat. What? A stone egg. Cool. Was there like a thing on that? Oh, there was not a thing. Don't go there. There's no things there. There's nothing to see here. There is nothing to see here, good sirs. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could hear me, so I decided to scream into my microphone so you could. I do have the volume up. It's very nice. I am have a much improved deja vu. <laughs> my deja vu is much improved. Um, well, that was a really good guess, I guess, if you can say that. I just, like, turned off my microphone. It was perfect. Um, that never happens, so great. <laughs> yeah, I always have trouble trying to figure out when to turn off my microphone. And here I am, talking about my microphone when something actually happens. So I'll talk about what actually happens. So I was going down these stairs, step by step, I was like, oh, something's gonna happen, isn't it? And then a thing fell down, I was like, oh, no, something did happen. And I was like, yes, something happened. I was like, wait, no, but you're supposed to not be happy about something happening because you just, like, fell down your stairs and now your legs are sore and then that, you know, that happens, so. <laughs> right, so, you know, this is cool. I'm going to read this note over here. I saw it. Um, I realize now that my fear of dirt stems from the disease I contracted climbing those lost jungle temples. It is as if I clean those places, as those clean places, so free of humanity's filth, imprinted upon my soul, and left it fragile to what I find here. Fear is what keeps us all in our places, and the fear of the flesh, the ruin of the flesh, is the greatest of them all. I am sickened, I am ruins, but I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. A new century is upon us. Cool. So, this guy was like, this jungle is really awesome, and I now realize that humanity is terrible, so I'm going to contain this giant, I'm going to build this giant machine to represent humanity and keep it contained in the deep underground chambers of Satan. Satan is the deep underground chambers. Whoa. Slow coach. It's this way. My ghost children. Oh, there's a journal thing in the bottom. I see that. I see that. How do I get to it? Oh, yay! <laughs> I'm so happy, because I saw the journal. Wow, okay. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be a strange machine my new friends... My new friend told me of. My children... If my... Words! Yay! Okay. If my children discovered this place, it is entirely conceivable that they strayed downwards, delighted in the discovery. Very well, it seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Great. Great. Dreet. Dreet. If you get the reference, you're a great person. <laughs> okay. Was it a trick? The voice on the phone? Who seems so close to my own? Who seems to know me so well? Does he lead me for a nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. Great, okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start calling the main character Mandis, because that's his name, I think. Mandis. That's a really cool name, by the way. Oh. The shaking ground you feel is our attempts to clear the flood waters. Treachery, Mandis. We were undone. 
Your children are trapped by this act. You must find them before it is too late. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Always deep Amandus through the piston room and into the tunnels. Then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can. But you must be swift, my little friend. Interesting. So we have to go down. We have to go deeper. Let's turn on that lantern again. Um. Right. This is a really dark color scheme. It's very dark in this room. This does give me some big deja vu because it's got that similar like wine cellar type of feel to the like the first game had. Whoa. Was that him clearing the floodwaters? Great. Well, I'm glad he's doing something, right? That's, that's, that's a good thing, right? I'm hoping. <laughs> I hope! Barrels don't just move on their own, you know. That doesn't just happen. Oh well, I'm just gonna... I'm going to ignore that and deeply regret it later. What was that? Is something was, was something on that catwalk? You know what? I'm just gonna slowly walk out of this room. Um. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm deeply disturbed. Wow. Oh. That's great. This totally isn't going to end up terribly. I'm going to avoid that just for now, so I know what's going on in each, in each of these rooms. Um. What is that? What is that? Is that like a giant battery? <laughs> what is that? Is I don't know what that is. That's really weird. Okay, so I... Is there another one? Are these items that are useful? Or is it just random things that just decided to be there so I could pick them up and be confused? Oh, there's a... Wait, wait, I got this. I got, I got this. No, no. Okay, good. Oh, I can't lift it. Oh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> So that door's locked, note to self. And that door is also closed. Oh, I have a journal note. Where is my J button? It's very dark in my room. I'm playing this very atmospherically. The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing, the gates are far too heavy for a man to lift, and you're instead hoisted along. Oh, Aloft? Okay, you know what? Along, aloft, it's the same thing, okay? It's the same thing. You know, those Germans, they make good shit. What? I'm I am Vince Lomi. Okay. Oh, the gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted along. There it is again, the word along. Along, stop putting in my conversations. I'm trying to talk to myself here. You know, I have people that watch me talk to myself, you know. It's important. I have to maintain a public reputation. I have to be able to speak. I have to be able to speak English. Do you understand? Do you speak English? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Good. Okay. Okay, let's, let's do this. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift, and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun, and the gates will remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Okay, so basically... The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift, and they are instead hoisted along by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors that are connected to electrical switches. And then when the fuse is blown, you can't spin the motor. It's just impossible. So the gates will remain an impenetrable, an impenetrable barrier to progress. Was that a good explanation? I think that probably was. That was the best explanation. I mean, I totally did not just completely restate exactly what I just said, uh, or the actual just text in general. So I'm just, uh, instead of actually thinking about what that means, I'm just going to go and s press and spin random things until something good happens. Um, or something that looks good happens, so... <laughs> because thought is too complicated. Who wants to do that? Okay, maybe I should look at what I was doing. Um, I, I really should pay attention. Okay, so the gates are too heavy, so you have to go and... They're hoisted aloft by chains. 
coiled about a tube. So like a co coiled tube chain um, that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown to computer. So wait, is that all I have to do? Is just literally just go over here and do this? Is this what it's talking about? Well, that's it. I'm gonna go find out if that if that's literally it. I mean, I, I maybe that'll be a thing. No. Oh! 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 These are useful. They are useful. Oh my god! 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 Oh my. Oh. I was concerned there. I thought that was like something like breathing down my back. It was like some monster. What was that? Oh, I know that was the machine. But still, what was that? <laughs> I don't like your logic. Stuck with enough. Fuck that. I'm just gonna go over here now. I'm gonna go over here and cry in a corner. And not go in that direction. Because that direction is a bad direction. It's a very bad direction. Isn't that right, Wall? Yes, it is a very bad direction. I'm going just downstairs at the floor while I check the time. The time is like 21 minutes, so I'm probably going to end the episode here, guys. Um, yeah, so this has been Priviat677, and I am now doing an outro that sounds like I'm using a fancy voice. I hope it does. I mean, if it doesn't, then oh my god, I need to improve my vocal, my vocal methods. But no, um, yeah, this has been Priviat677, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!